All right, guys, it's lawn seeding day. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so it is early in the morning. It is August 19th. Today is the day. It's the best day of the year. It's the best day of the year. The best day of the year. <laughs> It is lawn seeding day, guys. So first thing I did this morning, I ran off to Home Depot to grab a peat moss spreader because we have some storms coming in. So I wanted to grab that just so I could put down a really good even layer of peat moss. But we're gonna move all the topsoil that I had delivered yesterday, put it over our fresh new area, get our seed down, and have this place ready to go for this new grass to come in. It'll be nice and level. It's gonna look great. We're gonna give it a nice clean bed for it to start growing in. So I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna put down a fertilizer for it and then we're gonna cover it with some peat moss, give it some water, and then in about four, I'm gonna say four days. I'm gonna say in four days, we're gonna see some germination happen. So it's gonna be really quick, really fast. I'm excited for it. And I hope you guys stick around because I will be doing follow-up videos for this, showing how quickly it comes in and just how it overall comes together. Other than that, guys, let's jump into it. I need to get this dirt moved first. It's gonna be quite a task to go ahead and get all this moved to the back, but let's go ahead and jump in. We'll get this dirt moved and get to work. Let's go. Take a quick break here from moving all this stuff because I think I'm out of shape. <laughs> I did want to quickly go over all the stuff we'll be using today will be linked down in the description below so if you want to grab some of it feel free. Again I'm not sponsored I just use the stuff that I use. We'll be using the Scott's Elite Spreader to get that seed out. I don't think I need to link a wheelbarrow and shovel for you though. I will link down also the products I'll be spraying down today in the backpack spur. So if you want to grab those products, feel free. If not, if you have your own, have at it. All right, let's move this wheelbarrow. <music> All right, we're gonna take a break from moving dirt to go move dirt a different way. <laughs> we're gonna go knock down some of these piles, these piles of dirt that I made back here and see how much more we need. I don't wanna move it all if I don't need to. So as you can see, there's all the dirt. We're gonna move these around, see if we can cover everything up and then bring in more if we need it. All right, so next we're gonna take the... Who mows at 7.30 in the morning? I know one of you people do. I'm trying to film over here. So that's how we're looking after we push it down with just the rake here. See all these mosquitoes or gnats, whatever, flying around right now, and it is the worst. I need them to go. <laughs> Hello there, girly bug. Shoe fly, don't bother me. We're gonna take the Lanzi lawn level rig and just smooth this all out, see how it looks afterwards. All right guys, overall, not looking too bad. For the most part, it's full. 
Say hi to Martin over there. Hi, Martin. So we only have pretty much this area here left. A little bit over here. Fill in a couple more wheelbarrows. Probably like three, I would say. And we're probably done. Everything's nice and smooth. Let's go get the rest of this dirt. So we definitely have enough dirt. I'm gonna do one quick just up and down pass, make sure everything's level going the same direction. And then we can put the seed down. Yeah. That landsy man. That is an amazing tool. I love it. Yeah, nice flat surface just like this. The way it works is, you know, the, the two ends of the of the Lansy are basically your leveling markers. And then as you pull, anything that kind of dips down in the middle will fall in or it'll get pushed out, right? So it'll kind of use those two ends to dictate where the leveling mark is. And then it'll break down the middle part or drop dirt into that middle part to level it up all the way across. Super cool. I like it. It just helps. It makes the mow a little bit smoother. We're going to be using that at least once or twice more this season. But I mean, look at it. It's nice and clean. I like it. All right, let's go get that seed. All right, guys. So what we have here is Twin City Seed. Fielder's Choice, Perennial Rye. I like this seed. It's dark. It germinates well. It looks amazing. We're going to go ahead and put this down on that lawn today. This is a seeding rate of seven to nine pounds per thousand square feet. We have just under 600 square feet. So I'm gonna do probably around, I'm gonna do about five to six pounds. I wanna go a little heavy. I wanna make sure that everything is covered. One bucket is about two pounds. So that'll be a nice easy measurement. So two, four, yeah, so we'll call that fine. So we're gonna use the Scott's Elite Spreader today. I'm gonna have the edge guard on and do the edges first, just to make sure none of the grass gets in the bed areas over there. I'm gonna start it off at the setting of five, see how it goes. You might have to play with your spreader a little bit just to see, but I'll show you guys what good coverage looks like when we're done. So let's get this down. so this is what you want to see nice even coverage everywhere seed is in there this is how you want your seed to look when you put it down you don't want it too bunched up I do have an area where it's a little bunched up I'm gonna show you over here this area over here got a little bit a little crazy so what we're gonna do is just kind of come over here and just kind of spread it out you don't want bunching if your seed starts to bunch on you your crowd you're gonna have root issues you're gonna have a lot of problems. So if you have an area where it's just a little bit too, there's too much seed, just go ahead and stir it around a little bit. All right guys, so now that the seed is down, we're gonna do some peat moss. Get a couple bags of peat moss on here and uh, we are done. Well, no, actually, hold on, I lied. We need to fertilize first. Let's grab our spray. All right guys, so let's get our mix sprayed up. This is gonna be our starter fert mix for the new seed. And if you are doing a new seeding project, you need to have mesotrione or tenacity. This will keep the weeds from getting at your lawn after you seed it. You have a nice new clean area, right? The last thing you wanna do is have weeds all in it. So grab yourself some mesotrione, all right? I'll put a link down in the description below. It's super easy. You put a little bit in there, 
it keeps the weeds at bay for about two weeks. I think I'm only gonna need a gallon back here, so I'm just gonna use one teaspoon today and get this in here. Next up, we're gonna use Green County Fertilizers Green Pop Starter Fert. This is a uh, 16212 great starter fertilizer. I've used it on all my lawns. I can't believe how quickly the stuff germinates with this. So definitely grab yourself some. Again, link down in the description below. This goes down at 16 ounces per thousand. Like I said, I have just under 600 square feet. So we'll do a little bit over eight ounces. A full cup. I swear these cups are amazing. Disposable, usable measuring cups. I absolutely love these things now. There's eight. And then last up, Green County Fertilizers RGS. This is a root growth stimulant. So basically what this does is it helps those roots really just branch out and grow. It gives it all the nutrients it needs, exactly what you need for new seed. Good root development. So we're gonna put this down. This goes down at three ounces per thousand. So we're gonna do about two ounces. It'll be a little heavy, but I mean, when you're getting that small, it's okay. fertilize I'm gonna take this rake here just gonna run it across real quick really lightly just create some little grooves there for the seed to fall into and hold its place and then we'll go ahead and get that peat moss down Nice that looks. <laughs> it's like all nice and whoo. I like that. That looks looks really nice. All right, let's get the peat moss down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the peat moss actually in the wheelbarrow and then shovel it into the spreader as I need it. That way I don't have to carry the spreader to and from each time. But we're gonna start over in that that area over there. Start that way and move our way this way. Get this covered up. Get some water on it and let it chill for a few weeks. I will link a peat moss spreader in my description. Not this one specifically. I'll find a couple of them and I'll put them in there. You guys can take a look. I'll put the Lansy one. The Lansy one's a little, little pricey, but I know it is a really good one. I'll put a couple other ones in there as well. But I do think having that is gonna be a game changer today. It's gonna help make this really quick and easy. And with peat moss, you wanna remember you wanna do a light spreading. If you do too heavy, you can start promoting fungus, which obviously with a new lawn, you definitely don't want to do. So a nice light covering is all you need just to keep some of that moisture and protect the seed and we're gonna be good to go here. Nice and done. Look at it. Already striped. <laughs> I want to show you guys real quick what's kind of cool about the pea moss spreader and why I think if you're gonna do a project like this, if you if you know 
you're gonna use peat moss, you need to have one of these or at least rent one of these. So let me show you what, what goes on, what you get afterwards and why I think it's really important. So when you're done, you open it up, all you're left with is this, this chunky bits. This is the stuff that you don't want on your lawn. No, it's just not stuff that's gonna help your lawn in any way. So it's really cool because this doesn't get through. It doesn't sit on your lawn. There's, there's sticks in here. Stuff you definitely just don't want on your lawn. So uh, the PMOS spreader is great. It keeps all this heavy, thick debris off. All you gotta do is just dump this out. If you have a composting bin, great compost. So I definitely recommend if you're gonna be doing something like this, Get yourself one of these PMOS spreaders, at least rent it from Home Depot or wherever you can find one. Definitely recommend grabbing one. It's gonna help you out. It's gonna leave you a better better product afterwards. So we're gonna go ahead and empty this out, get some water on the lawn and enjoy the rest of our day. All right guys, there you guys have it. We got the topsoil down, leveled it out, threw some seed down, threw our fertilizer down, topped it off with some peat moss, giving it some nice healthy water and we're just gonna let this thing grow. Now. With a new lawn, you wanna make sure that you're constantly keeping it moist. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a good 10 minute spray here, and then I'm gonna set up my sprinkler system for this specific lawn here to go roughly three to four times a day for about five minutes each time. We wanna keep it wet. If it dries out, it dies out, all right? So, we're gonna do probably a 4 a.m. scheduling for about five, 10 minutes. We're gonna do around a 10 a.m. scheduling for about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna do then another like schedule around three o'clock for about five to 10 minutes. Depending on how it looks during the day, if you're having a really hot day, I might throw another one down around five-ish just to kind of keep it wet through the evening. But you wanna really kind of gauge what, what it looks like. The peat moss is gonna be your gauge for you. If it looks dry, throw some water down, all right? That's what's great about the peat moss is it helps you know whether or not that seed is going to dry out soon. So pay attention to your peat moss pay attention to your water, and make sure that everything's looking good. In about seven days, you're gonna start seeing some grass pop up around here. If you're using perennial ryegrass like I am. And then in roughly about three weeks, it'll be a nice lush green oasis of grass that is just begging to be striped. <laughs> I promise I will keep you guys updated on how this lawn is coming along. Other than that, I got nothing for you guys. I'm gonna go do another lawn, and I'll see you all in the next one.